What's up, everybody? It's your man, Jamar Rashawn, your host of TTG For Real Film Room. Today's featured athlete is middle linebacker Navarro Bowman of the Oakland Raiders. He finished the season with 127 tackles, two sacks, two PBUs, and one INT. He played for the San Francisco 49ers before being released. The Oakland Raiders picked him up in the middle of the year. He finished the season according to PFF, ranked number eight overall middle linebacker, so he's still chugging and plugging. Hey, if you like football, you're at the right place to be today. It's a lot of films, so bear with me. Let's get right to it. Bowman's in the 30 shade. He's reading the guard through the running back. The guard is going to take him right to the play. He gets reached. He just does a good job of separation and making initial contact to bring Stewart down. 30 shade zone left. It wasn't a clean read because of all the mess, but he does a good job of dipping under a Fetty to bring Carson down in the backfield. Thirty shade zone left. He does a good job of not foul stepping and reading his keys. He knows it's coming. Shuffle, shuffle gets off of the block and he just makes the play on Rawls in the backfield again. Twenty shade zone left, but it's a halfback dive through the B gap. He just flat foots it, stays patient, and makes the first point of contact to bring Carson down. Ten shade zone left halfback counter. This is tricky, so he has to stay patient. Gets off the block of Matt Glowinski and makes the tackle. 20 shade zone left, he plays this perfect shuffle, 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 gets off the block of Trey Madden and meets Chris Carson in the backfield for a gain of zero. 20 shade red zone, you just trying to find space and the space happened to be in the A gap and he meets Gurley in the backfield. 50 shade zone right, he's the cutback guy so he's going to shuffle, shuffle and he's going to do his job and meet CJ2K at the 40 yard line. Ten shade, Bowman gets caught looking at CJ2K before he drops back into his hook to curl um, initial read. But he ends up being at the right place at the right time. He just got to make that play. Ten shade, halfback draw, H-back wham through the A-gap. Bowman, he sees it. He doesn't panic. He stays patient. Now he's just being athletic and makes the tackle. Zero shade head up on the center. This is an A gap blitz. He sees the hole. He reacts. He makes the tackle in the backfield for the TFL. 30 shade midline read. So he has to slow play everything. Shuffle, shuffle. Now he's the alley player and he's going to be everybody over there to tackle Tyreek Hill. That's what you call savvy, phenomenal, and instinctive. Zero shade head up on the center. This is going to be a delayed B-gap blitz, and he's going to come in screaming, and he smack Alex Smith right in the middle of his chin strap. 20 shade, he drops back in his passing keys. He sees the draw. Now he just beat DeMarco to the punch, and he flipped Shady McCoy. Ten shades on left. He wasn't aligned properly, but he ends up getting it right. Instead of going over, he just dips underneath Mike Pouncey to make the tackle. 50 shade, it's a stunt. He's going to blitz into the D gap. Anthony Fasano is holding him. As you can see, it still doesn't work because he still gets the J color for the quarterback pressure. 30 shade, he's reading the running back through the guard. The running back is going to take him to the play because it's a misdirection. He just comes up and smacks him. 10 shade, he's reading the running back, but check this out. He doesn't even move because he knows it's nowhere else for you to go. He just waits and boom, he right there, right where you're trying to get to, baby. 10 shade, but it's red zone in this goal line. So really, you just got to try to find any open space. It's a play action. He sees the open wide receiver and guess what? He just happens to be at the right place at the right time for the INT. In a 50 shade, Bowman is going to do a B gap blitz and he just happens to run into the halfback draw and makes the tackle in the backfield. In a 20 shade, he just drops back in his zone in the middle of the field. Now he's just reading and reacting. He sees the running back slip out and he just comes up and makes the tackle. In a 50 shade, he's going to do a B gap blitz again. He does a good job of pretty much avoiding and eluding uh, Shane Vereen's block. Um, now he's just being at the right place at the right time, as always, although he didn't get the sack, he still made the play for the turnover. Lined up on the hash, he know his gap is the A gap, but peep this, y'all. He didn't even move. Now he knows that Hunt is going to come, and he just comes up and make the tackle. In the zero shade, he sees that the A gap is going to come open because of the late draw. Now he just shuffles, shuffles, and just makes the tackle in the C gap. 
20 shade man to man on the fullback which happens to be travis kelsey so you know it got to be some type of uh trick play he just does a good job of running in stride cutting them off and getting his hand in there for the pbu here's the back view this guy is 29 years old and he's sticking with one of the best tight ends in the nfl for the past breakup Disguised B gap blitz is covered too. He sees the shallow. He does a good job of colliding it, passing it off. Now it's just a scramble drill. Now he just see ball, get ball, and he gets the sack. Ten shade disguised A gap blitz zone right, but look how fundamentally sound he is. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Now he's tracking the inside hip and he beats everybody to the ball carrier for the tackle. 40 shade head up on Collins, man to man against Morris. Morris is going to do a flare out. He does a good job of not getting picked and just comes up and make the open field tackle in the backfield. 30 shade zone left. He does a good job of not getting hooked by Frederick. He just rips his left hand underneath there and he keeps climbing, keeps climbing, and he runs into the tackle. shade zone right he's going to fill the a gap perfectly he does a good job of getting off the block of kelsey and just making the tackle on jay ajayi this is beautiful he's in a 50 shade this is hard zone right kind of rpo kind of look he just shuffles shuffles and fills the opposite side c gap to make the tackle on ajayi Ten shade stretch right. Even though he were getting held, he still found a way to be in position to get the tackle just because he's so fundamentally sound, as you guys can see right there. The sky's hard, big gap blitz, so you really can't tell if he's coming or not. But guess what? He is coming, and he's going to hit him with the Dwight Freeney right left whoop, spin move. The Okie Doke does a good job of just finishing the play and making a sack in the backfield on Philip. Rivers. And there you guys have it. Navarro Bowman, Navarro Bowman, Tomato Tomato. This guy still got a lot of left in the tank, if you ask me. I hope the Raiders bring him back for their sake. If not, somebody is going to get a hell of a middle linebacker who can still do it all and is still a Pro Bowl caliber, all pro type of guy. Hey, there you guys have it. Jamar Rashawn, follow me on all of my social media platforms at TTG for real. Hey, comment. Please comment. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.